and welcome to Rotary Craft Part 1. Now this is going to be actually the first um, episode I'm doing in the new FTB Horizons um, mod pack, which is um, from 1.6.4. So I thought I'd uh, to give a brief intro, seeing as it is the first, um, first episode. As you can see, this massive uh, mountain in the background um, is down to alternate terrain generation, which is a new type of terrain generation that takes advantage of all the amplified features um, that were implemented. Um, uh, in um, 1.7 in the well in in the um, snapshots up to 1.7 um, as you can see there's also um, new map features here um, which I'm going to be talking about here map writer options is that part of opus or something okay so there's that um, and yeah so also a good thing to notice is that NEI is also now completely different um, it's got a completely different uh, interface the stuff the same stuff is still there um, there's this new uh, profile recipes button, which is quite cool. But like I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna get into all, all that um, uh, some other point. Um, what I wanted to do here is obviously talk about Rotary Craft. Rotary Craft is sort of the big sort of industrial mod that has come into Feed the Beast as of this version, which is um, one six four. Um, one of the cool things about this particular item that I've got here, um, and oh yeah, one other thing is if you notice that as I'm moving around, you can see. Um, um, you can see tool tips for basically everything that I move around, and it will and it will say the, um, the name of the item and um, the name of the mod there. That's to do with um, something called uh, Whaler, um, which is what am I looking at? And I believe there's also something called Jabber, which is uh, I think is actually um, the same uh, same from the uh, same source. So. Um, with that in mind, um, what we can do is, if I um, just right click uh, here, um, well, well, you know, like I say, it's always better these things happen at the beginning. So there we go. So I've set, so I basically right click there and it says position one set to that. And then if I just do right click there, it still says position one. And the reason for that is because you need to shift. So let's do it again. We've got that one there. And we're going to shift this time. And boom. The whole area gets completely removed. But what if I wanted to actually put something in that area? So what if I wanted to... There's actually... If I can... Uh, I think there's actually 200 pages. Hmm, some of them have disappeared. And Tinker's Construct has got this new thing on this subsets panel. Um, but yeah, Rotary Craft, though, is, as you can see, lots of new things. Uh, I'll just very briefly go through this. Um, Aquaculture, I believe, is from Metallurgy. Arcane Scrolls is uh, an individual mod which features scrolls, and we'll be covering that soon. Ars Magica 2 is obviously the sequel to Ars Magica, a large mod, Ars Magica 2. Artifice, there's a lot of compatibility um, uh, incorporated with that. Uh, backpack is old, better chests, I believe, maybe new, better storage. I think they're both new. I'll talk about those another time. Bios of Plenty, of course. So you can choose now, you can choose some Bios of Plenty, alternate terrain generation, um, and uh, and the regular sort of stuff. Um, um, e Ender IO, very popular ones in there now. E Masher, talk about that. Enhanced portals coming up soon. Um, more Tinker's Construct, there's extra Tinker's Construct stuff there. Uh, this is a new thing called Ganny's End, Nether Surface. I haven't looked at that yet, but we'll. Yeah, there's some interesting. I, this, unfortunately, the only thing I can remember is something not particularly pleasant um, to do with one of the names of the blocks. Um, but I'll, I'll, be, I'll be moving on to that soon. There's the Jabber, as I mentioned, uh, Gas Craft. I can't remember what that is. Um, I'd imagine gas is there. Magical crops is pretty cool. Metallurgy, of course, there a lot of lot very metallurgy focused. Pam's Harvest Craft is in in the in the one of the big mod packs. It's called C um, Project Red. Um, Red power replacement um, and is, is is following seems to be following along a similar sort of path. Um, random things is uh, well, I guess random things. Um, yeah, uh, react craft. So there's a lot of new stuff. Farlanders. Um, I haven't looked too much into that yet. Um, witchery looks pretty cool. I'm going to be doing that as well. And yeah, obviously Thorncraft 4 as well, I didn't mention. And this is the exact thing is a crafting uh, system thing. So yeah, anyway, um, as I was saying, and 
yeah i wanted one, one final thing i would actually mention is about the uh, the menus this is a very cool thing that you can do now with it um i don't want to focus too much on this obviously um uh, world is it there you can also do global and uh you can actually apply a setting so you're not on the same settings when you go to another world it's pretty cool um that, that was there before obviously some of this stuff i think you can also you can also change all these things so you, um yeah so perhaps you could actually you could just put, put different commands in there. i think that's what that's for um and you could and you could um, perhaps shorten these commands which would be probably pretty cool uh tools now i've been there plugins no 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 uh, but there is also a way I'm probably not going to find it here I don't think I am but basically there's also a way that um, uh, you can uh, you can do key commands to set the time of the day from noon uh, morning and night I'll talk about that in another episode though all right so if you wanted to replace this so say you wanted to replace this with what block should I replace it with <laughs> A lot of Tinker's Construct stuff now. There's all the Pam's Harvest Craft. There's the Ars Magica. A lot of, lot of, a lot of mobs, a lot of entities, a lot of spawners. Some very, very cool spawning going on. I know this is uh, still getting off the point. These are all actually Rotary Craft spawners, these regular ones. But you got things like this now. Yeah, that's what I saw. Yeah, Gan that was from the Ganny stuff. Uh, you can do a Charge Creeper. Um, yeah, you could do some cool stuff in the in the game. So let me let me just let me. I mean, it's, it's, you know, it's a special time, isn't it? Really, because um, it's not it's not every it's not every day that um, you know massive thing like this comes out. So um, where is it? Now, let's, let me just do. Maybe if I do Gany, I wonder if it works now. Okay, it looks interesting. Might actually be working. Hmm. Let's try that one. You can see it's it's nice to have all those to to, to have them the name of what's going on there. Um, it will take a while to get used to this though, and then what's going on here? It's funky. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's every, everything is is pretty new, which is pretty cool. But yeah. So if you take this, like I say, you know, even even when stuff is new, um, you know, I do like to. Um, obviously, you can see the stuff in the corner. I think I actually did this. I did that stuff. That that, that to me strikes me as, um, you know, I think I think one of the either armor status or status. What was it armor status? Yeah, I've I've done a few on that. Um, some of those um, sort of more miscellaneous type uh, mods I actually did cover. So yeah, so what you do is you just click in the middle of the air. Um, so yeah, I wonder if you've got. Yeah, so yeah, I'm, a, I don't, I'm not quite sure I got that out. Um, but yeah, actually, maybe I can use it. So I just put the um, let's just go to creative, and you can see, as you can see, you also get two new tool tips here, and and, and it just all everything just looks different. So let's just set a block here. Um, all right, so we're going to right click here, and we're going to put some of this uh, black chiseled quartz. Why not? Um, so we'll do um, a right click there there's the first position and you see you don't actually have to do um, you see if I go over way over here let's just try a proper difficult 3d thing see how it copes with that boom yeah that's pretty fucking cool. that's pretty fucking I don't know why I'm saying yeah but that is pretty fucking cool I thought it would work like that, and it has. Um, obviously, if I, I'd imagine it wouldn't work properly if I didn't have enough blocks, but it doesn't seem to matter in creative mode. And yeah, this is like this. I think is um, um, what's it? Biomes are plenty. The way to get to the promised land. Very, very awesome stuff, though. I mean, look at this biome. Let's just let's go back to so that, so that's so that's um that's what I wanted to show about rotary craft. And obviously, I have um I obviously spoken about other things, but this is the first, the beginning of um FTB Horizons. So, wanted to let's have a look. 
I say 100 mods loaded. I'm not getting the best frames, but oh well. Let's just get rid of those clouds. Let's just check the, the FOV is on night, of course. I've already done that. That's the first thing I do. So you can see we've got all sorts of, you know, huge, huge sweeping areas here. There's a lot of woodland. And all sorts of um, new mobs, new plants um, added to it. You can see there's swampland. So cool biomes, nice height, and various kind of uh, structures. Um, it's a bit of, we've still got those uh, obsidian pillars, and there and there's a there's a dryad, Mars Magica too. They're they're quite. They seem to be. I've seen a few of those already, actually. A lot of horses round. All right then, so I'll just drop down here. And yeah, that's all for now.